VTube Studio has recently published a fully functioning standalone PC version on Steam. Is it the future? What are the differences? Is it better than the app version? I'll answer this in this video. And before I forgot, welcome back to another video. Here is an overview of VTube Studio for both the app version, which you can see on the left side, and the more recently published Steam version. I'm running it on Windows, but it is also supported for Mac OS. Let me start with the left part. So first of all, you have to download the app itself, which is for free. And then you also have to, now this is the complicated part, you have to also download the executable file. All you need to do is to start a server and then you connect. You can start your VTube studio and start the tracking and become a virtual YouTuber. So I got my phone here prepared and I'm gonna start the app. And uh, we also know from my previous videos that I have to place my phone somewhere in front of me so that the tracker can track my face, all right? And in the meantime, I also start uh, the uh, server of VTube Studio. So this is the file you can download it on the website for free. So I'm gonna do the following. I have to start a server here. So here is start server. Let me move up a bit so you can see. If I start here, this is green. Green means everything is okay. And now I can use my phone and I go to uh, connect to PC. There you go. And now you see also that this is connected here. That's it actually. So that, that is everything all set up. What I'm gonna do is to load the model. Oops, not this one. <laughs> where, 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 where is it? Where is it? Here. Let me take this cat. Let me take this cat. Look at this. Look at this cute cat. And it works. It works very good. Now if I, uh, for example, if I remove my... Uh, Look at this. The tracking is all done on the phone, okay? So if I remove this phone, so let, let me place it somewhere far away. For example, like this, you know, if I hold it like this, then it doesn't work anymore, right? But if I do this, it works. The tracking is so good because it uses the iPhone's built-in tracker it uses, I think, uh, depth information of the face. And this is why the tracking should be better than the webcam version. Let's see. On the right side, Steam. It is much easier. All you need to do is to start VTube Studio on Steam. So it has nothing to do with the VTube Studio executable file you downloaded previously. It is all on Steam. And you start a webcam. That's it. Now let's have a look at the Steam version. All we need to do is to go to Steam and download the VTube Studio. This is for free again, unless you buy the DLC. Now we launch the program. Look at this beautiful watermark. I like this very much. So instead of starting a server this time, we are doing something different. We go to setting, we go to camera. Now here we can choose a webcam. Now this is very important. You choose a good webcam here, ideally something that is in front of you and you're not on the side or the background. And you just hit the start or the camera on. All right, uh, there's some uh, DLC here, blah, 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 okay. And, <laughs> oh my God, what is this? Please move you for five seconds every time you start a webcam. All right, this is for the calibration, I guess. Five seconds, is this five seconds? Okay, I think we are good. We close this. The watermark is always there. Otherwise, it's not called watermark. We load our model, let's take a white cat this time. And let me check, let's make it bigger. I think the tracking is, is good, especially it tracks the face, the, the head quite well and the eyes as well. But what I don't like is uh, the mouth. So I think the app version tracks a bit better. Maybe it's just me, but overall it is quite impressive especially when not everyone has an iPhone. So that's why a normal camera will do the job. What are the differences? I summarize this in four points. So let's start with the most important, the cost, the cost. While both are for free in general, 
Um, the app offers in-app purchase for uh, 24.99 euro, while on Steam the DLC costs 12.49. So, what do you get if you buy this? That's a good question. You get on the app, you get this five-minute restriction removed. So this app is really just meant to be for you to test it out if you like it, and also you can remove the watermark. And on the Steam version, everything works on the fly, but you can remove the watermark for this price. And what do you need? Now, this is a bit uh, tricky because on the app, you need a smartphone and a computer. And for the Steam version, however, you only need an additional webcam, which I assume everyone has it. And uh, the tracking works basically, this is the key differences. The tracking works a bit different it's a different technology that is used here. Smartphone has this face ID, which has depth information. So you can get a much better tracking while on webcam, it only relies on uh, on images coming from the webcam. There is no depth information. So it just computes the depth information based on the images you get. However, quality. So on the app, it is very good. And on Steam, it is, it is good. It is, I think, even neglectable, that's why I also put it as good, because it is, um, yeah, you don't really see the, the big differences here. Let's have a direct comparison. On the left side, we got the iPhone version, the app version, and on the right side, we got the Steam version. So I have my phone here placed in front of me, and uh, the tracking works both quite well. I think on the right side, the webcam version, it has a slight it has a slight uh, delay and also it's not as smooth as the left side. Let's have a look when we zoom the face a bit more because that's what's all about. So I think the black cat, the iPhone one, is a bit smoother. There's a movement in my mouth and I think the interpolation between open and close or when I just in general talk is a bit better. And also I got a feeling that sometimes my uh, right eyes, like uh, my, my eyes here on the on the webcam version is a bit closing, even though if I didn't do this, I don't know, maybe it's just my opinion. I'm not doing anything here, but look at this. If I move my head up, I'm kind of closing my eyes, or maybe this is just because of my Asian eyes. <laughs> This is the overview from the official documentation and I found this after I made this comparison. So I'm really glad that the result is quite consistent with my impression. So we had iOS, which is the best um, performance here, all green. Android, I don't have Android, so I can't show you unfortunately. But the webcam, it is uh, quite nice here. You can see that also iOS, very small tracking delay while on webcam. It is small to medium and you don't really see the, the differences here. So this is very consistent with, with my uh, observation too. The question is, which devices are supported in the app version? So if you open the documentation, chapter 1.4, supported device, you can see there is Android and iOS. We'll come into Android later. If you're using iOS, lucky you, it's very, very simple. So any iPhone that as the Face ID support. So that includes iPhone SE, X, XR, XS, regular and Max 11 or 12 or iPad Pro. And of course the iPhone SE 2020 or the iPad's eighth generation. On Android, on the other hand, the list is a bit bigger. So let me uh, put it here real quick. You can see here a uh, list that has many, many phone here and you can, uh, yeah, find your phone hopefully. So the question is, should you get the app version, which is a bit more expensive and also requires an iPhone or some other smartphone that has the support, or should you just stick with the Steam version? So the answer is very clear. If you just started with uh, VTube or streaming, I highly recommend you to uh, stick with the Steam version. The fact that uh, everything is just working on this webcam makes it very, very easy. You also, have to consider, you know, getting a model actually. So this cat here, this default cat has not a lot of animation. So if things get more complex, if you have your own bigger model and also if you have a very large audience where this animation is so important, you know, these details, you can consider switching to the app. So uh, I think 
the, the Steam version is quite nice and you don't even have to buy the DLC. The fact that uh, this watermark is around here is not really bothering me, I think. But this is just uh, my uh, personal opinion. I think, yeah, the Steam version is very, very nice. Um, I would definitely recommend you to uh, use the Steam version. That's it. I hope you enjoyed this uh, little tutorial on VTube Studio and I'll see you next time. Uh.